How are we doing everyone? Hope you're well. Mr. Boulder here, back today with another album ranking video. And today I'm talking about the uh, legendary British grindcore death metal, melodic death metal band Carcass. We've been around since the late 80s, um, not been around the whole time. They did have a period of about 16 years where they went away. Um, so not the biggest discography to talk about here. There's only seven studio albums to talk about. I'm going to get into it after the usual sip of coffee. So for me, my least favourite is without a doubt their debut, Reek of Putrefaction from 1988. Um, it's got a few songs I like on it, but that's literally it. Uh, I've tried so many times and I just cannot get on board with this record at all. Um, track 1, Genital Grinder, I like. Uh, Maggot Colony's good. And there's a few others that are okay, like Festa Day. Um, Splattered Cavities, Burnt to a Crisp. But other than that, um, for me, it's just completely forgettable. And it's not just the songs that are the problem. The mix is awful on this record. It sounds like whoever mixed this thing literally just thought, right, we'll turn everything up to 10 and just leave it as that. And it just sounds a complete mess. Production's pretty much non-existent. Um, there's not many memorable riffs or anything like that. And I just cannot get on board with this record at all. And I've tried quite a few times, but it's easily my least favourite from these guys. I hardly ever go back to this one. Uh, just a bad, bad album. And uh, if I don't listen to it, I certainly don't miss it. There's much better stuff from these guys, which we're obviously going to get onto as the video goes on. But that's the last place, number seven, uh, Carcass's debut from 1988. Rook of Putrefaction, not a good album at all. Up next to me at number six is the follow-up, Symphonies of Sickness from 1989. Now, the difference between this record and the first is night and day. This is so much better, it's unreal. Um, the songs are much, much better, and it's just an album that I enjoy so much more. Um, the guitar tone on this album is absolutely fantastic, really thick and crunchy, sounds excellent. Much better written songs, much better production, and just a much more enjoyable album. I absolutely love this album. This is superb stuff. Um, title, uh, sorry, not the title track, Reek of Putrefaction, first song is superb. Exhumed to Consume, that's excellent as well. And there's other great songs there, like Slash Dementia. Uh, tons of others I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce because I've probably butchered the pronunciations. But this is so much better. There's great riffs on this. I love the vocals uh, from Bill Steer and Jeff Walker. They sound really good, those trade-off vocal styles. Bill Steer's been very low, of course. And Jeff Walker's not been anywhere near as low, but still really brutal and nasty. Loads of great riffs. I enjoy the drums and just songs that are decent and which you just don't get on the debut as far as I'm concerned. I listened to this album quite a few weeks, uh, a few times this week, preparing for this video, and just with every listen, it's just like so much better than the debut. It's ridiculous. I absolutely love this album. Great stuff from Carcass. Number six, uh, Symphonies of Sickness from 1999, is an excellent album. So up next at number five is Swan Song from 1996. This is their Death and Row album. So uh, if the fans hated hard work, and I'm sure they completely fell off with this one. Um, I have no problem with it whatsoever, though. I really like this one. I had this on CD when it first came out. So Michael Amott left after hard work. And you've got Carlo Regadas um, on the second guitar here. Other than that, it's the, uh, the original lineup. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Um, it's got some really good songs that are catchy. There's a few on there that kind of pass me by. I'm not too fussed about. But on the whole, I really like it. Uh, track one, Keep On Rotting in the Free World, is great. Uh, Black Star's a good tune. Cross My Heart, probably one of the favourites on the album. It's got a great chorus. Uh, Room 101's a good tune. Uh, Generation Hex, great, hand, great song. Firm Hand, not that bothered by that one. Uh, but the last three, Rock the Vote, Don't Believe a Word and Go to Hell, are all really, really good. Uh, an album with lots of catchy riffs on it. Ken Owens drums are good. Uh, again, the vocals are great. And just some really nice, easy sing-along, well, not really sing-along, but catchy death and roll death metal here from Carcass. Um, hated by a lot of people, but so not by me. I really enjoy this one. Uh, Carcass's Swan Song from 1986 is my number five album from Carcass. Um, hated by a lot of people, but certainly not by me. Up next is the most recent album. And here's Torn Arteries, I think it's from 2021. Yep, 2021. I've loved this album from the very first listen. Uh, this is 
carcass uh, carrying on in their more melodic style. And um, I really enjoy it. It's got loads of great songs on it. It um, has to be said on this album, you think about Bill Steer still absolutely killing it on the guitar. The riffs are absolutely superb on this album. Great solos. Uh, Jeff Walker's voice sounds just as good as it did 30 years ago when they were doing the heart work for me or even the criticism. Uh, vo vocals are fantastic. Great guitar in. The drums are great. I can't remember who plays drums on this record. Uh, I'm not going to look because no doubt I won't be able to find it. But um, some great tunes on this, like Eleanor Rigor Mortis. I love that title. It's really good. Under the Scalpel Blade. Great riffs in that tune. Excellent chorus. Vocals are superb. Really, really good song. Uh, the Devil Rides Out. Uh, Kelly's Meat Emporium. Great tune. And God We Trust. Wake Up and Spot a Car. Because it's a little bit silly uh, lyrics wise, but I can live with it. No doubt about it. And uh, the Scythe's Remorteless Swing. Last track. Uh, great lyrics in that song. Um, a lot of the lyrics on all of this album. Vocals are great. Loads of great riffs. Um, very, very good album. Obviously, there's a few still to come, but this is a great album from Carcass. And uh, if this, if the next one's as good as this, whenever it comes up, uh, I will very much be looking forward to hearing it. That's Torn Arteries. Uh, that's number four for me. Uh, number three is Surgical Steel from 2013, their first album since Swan Song, so the first album in 17 years. When it was announced that they were coming back, I was very excited and it did not disappoint at all. Uh, this really is kind of following on from sort of the hard work era for me personally. Uh, fantastic album, love this uh, cover as well, this is really good. Again, the vocals are great, Bill Steer absolutely came on the guitar and loads of great tunes that I really love. Thrash's Avatar is superb. Uh, love the chorus in that. It's really, really good. Vocals are superb. Uh, a Conchilled Clot of Blood is a great tune. Let's have a quick look here. Um, Unfit for Human Consumption, first track on side C. It's absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love the riffs in that. The riffs in the uh, chorus are brilliant. And the vocal patterns from Jeff Walker are great. Um, Captive Bolt Pistol, that's another great track. Another really, really good chorus. Amazing riffs. Um fantastic stuff you know sometimes when bands make a comeback you're really excited for it when the album turns up you're really disappointed not the case here for me uh, surgical still from carcass from 2013 is an excellent comeback album packed with great riffs the drums are absolutely amazing really really good stuff excellent vocals superb stuff surgical still is my number three album from carcass from 2013 what a comeback on to number two now. It's a big album for me. But number two is a uh, Heartwork from 1993. Uh, like I said earlier, one of the first death metal albums I ever heard. When I first heard the song Heartwork, I was blown away. I'd never really heard anything that heavy before. Before this, the heaviest thing I'd heard was thrash metal. Um, so when I heard this, this was definitely a... Uh, the next step up, and obviously this isn't as heavy as the stuff that was came before it, but uh, this is a great album. This is like pretty much the start of melodic death metal, a lot of people say, and I have to agree. Uh, Ken Owens' drums are amazing, uh, really, really great drumming. Again, riffs are fantastic um, from Bill Steer and Mike Amott, and uh, Jeff Walker sounding great on the vocals. And there's just no bad songs on this album. Uh, Buried Dreams, the opener is great. Carnal Forge, superb. Uh, no Love Lost, I absolutely love that. The guitar playing in that is superb. Amazing chorus. Hard Work is just a fantastic song. That title track is an absolute beast. Uh, this Mortal Coil, Blind Bleeding the Blind, Doctrinal Expletives, Death Certificate, last track is great. Absolutely love it. Just nothing bad here at all. It really is excellent. And this could have easily been my number one. Uh, I played this cassette to death back in the day. I had it on dubbed cassette. My mate Glenn had the uh, the proper cassette and I uh, sort of dubbed it off of him. Fantastic stuff. Uh, got the CD years ago and then I uh, picked up the record a few years ago and I've spun it loads. Just an absolutely classic album that I never tire of. The old school fans hated it, um, but I certainly don't. It's absolutely amazing. Carcass's heart work is at the number two spot. So only beaten to number one spot by one other album. This album is an absolute beast, and it's easily my favourite. I love hard work, but I love this one even more. 
And it's a necroticism discanting the insalubrious from 1991. An absolutely stunning album. Um, I even enjoy the sound bites on this. Um, usually that would bother me in an album, but I love this album so much. The sound clips, they don't bother me at all. Uh, a very cold sounding album. Uh, very dark. Excellent death metal. This is when they went full on death metal, moving away from the grind core. Uh, and I just absolutely love it. It's brilliant. There's so many great songs. Uh, the riffs are amazing. Just superb stuff. Uh, Corporal Jigsaw Quandary. I love the way that song starts with the drum beat and then the riff comes in. It's playing the exact same thing. Uh, Star was the drums, of course. Uh, Symposium of Sickness. Great tune. Pedigree Butchery. Side A's all brilliant. Side 2 starts off with the Incarnated Solvent Abuse, which has got one of my favourite riffs ever. Before the vocals come in, the way the really heavy riff comes in sounds fantastic. And it's just an album that's absolutely packed with great tunes. Side B is all killer as well. I mean, I love Heartwork, but this one's even better. Just a superb album. Um, a flawless death metal album. I mean, 1991, as we all know, was an amazing year for death metal. And here's just uh, one piece of uh, proof of how this uh, year was so amazing for Death Metal. 1991, just an absolutely amazing year. And this is Carcass's best moment for me. Uh, yeah, again, another album I don't tire of, don't get bored of. Absolutely love it. The Crotticism, the Stance in the Insalubrious from Carcass from 1991 is my favourite Carcass album. An absolute beast, an essential piece for any Death Metal uh, collection. And it's just absolutely essential. Brilliant, brilliant stuff, and I absolutely love it. So there we go, guys. That's it. Uh, Carcass album ranking done. Get in the comment section. Let me know which is your favourite Carcass album. I'd like to hear from you all, as always. I'll be back with you soon with another video. I think it'll be a, a contest entry for uh, my friend James, Mr. Stormin79. Um, so I shall see you then. Uh, until then, guys, cheers, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.